Hmm. Okay, Bob, help me out here. One kick for printed and two kicks for digital. Oop, okay, <laughs> printed it is. And what about matte or gloves? Uh, Emily, what are you doing? Well, I'm asking the baby for her baby shower invitations. After all, it's a party, right? Hi, I'm Emily from Canva. Are you or someone you know about to have a baby? I'm expecting my second child and I couldn't be more excited. I'm still a few months of hosting my baby shower, but I've already started designing my invitations on Canva. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you three designs with different layouts and functions. We'll cover a printed invite, a digital one with animation, and finally, a banner for a Facebook event. I'll even show you how to add a QR code that can link to an RSVP form or gift registry. If this sounds good, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Videos like these go up weekly and you won't want to miss them. Okay, let's get started. First, I'll show you how to make a basic invitation using a template. Just type baby shower invite into the search bar. With thousands of designs to choose from, there is really something for everyone. Any designs with a crown are for Pro and Canva for Teams users, but all the rest are free. The floral designs are sweet, but I'm looking for one with a cartoon style, like this. I already love a lot of things about this design, but I want to make it my own, so I'm going to make some small changes. I'll start with the background. Instead of green, I'll make the skies nice and pale blue. Next, I'm going to replace the bear and the fox, because mm, they look a bit cranky. To find more designs like the deer, I'll click on this icon and go to see more like this. These two look more friendly. I'll add both. To resize them, I'll click and drag the corner. I'll place one here and the other one here. Hmm, this isn't really working. Perhaps I'll try the mousse over the other side. That looks much more balanced. And finally, time to switch out the text and add a few little extras, just to really make it my own. Nice. Now, all that's left to do is order the prints. Let me show you how easy it is to place an order through Canva. Head to Print Cards and work your way through the options. I only need the one side printed, or do I? You know, I think I'm going to go double-sided, so I can write something personal on the back to my friends. I'll copy over some of the elements from the front side. That makes it easier, but it also creates some consistency. For this, I'm just copying and pasting. Great! This is going to make the invitation so much more personal. I can write something that will show how much I value their friendship. You know, I'm even going to add a QR code in here. The beauty of a QR code is that it can be linked to just about anything. You could link it to an email address or a website, even another Canva design. Maybe even give the guest directions, like a map. To add the QR code, go to More, then find this icon. Paste in the URL and hit Generate. It's really that easy. Okay, now I really am ready to print. I'll change this to premium, that way the paper will be nice and thick. And a matte finish so I can write on it. Envelopes? Yes, please. Oh, and the quantity, that's important. All right, that's everything. I can expect to see my designs land on my doorstep in under seven days. Whoop, there you go. Let's see, this is exciting. Oh, this is so cute. Ooh, one print, one three camera, that's nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, the QR code looks amazing. 
Oh, and even I got the envelopes. I can't wait to send this over to all my friends. Next up, let's check out how to make an animated invitation. When you scroll through the templates, you will see there are lots of animated options already. But let's say you find a static design you prefer. Let me show you how easy it is to add some movement. I'll start by replacing these stars. I'll head over here, type in star, and apply the animated filter. I like this set of three, so I'll add it and copy it a few times. Next, I'll see if I can switch these clouds. Let's see what comes up when I try searching watercolor clouds. This could work. I'll drag it to the corner here, position it to the back, and change the opacity. Then I'll do the same to the other side. That looks great. I think I'll stop here to avoid overdoing it. Now, to share this digitally, there are two different ways to do this. The first option is to create a view only link. Go to share, then tap this icon. You can copy and paste the link into a message or email, and this is what it will look like when it's clicked on. The other option is to download it as a GIF. Let's head back to share, click download, change the file type, then hit this button. The design will save to your computer and you can upload it to social media or send it in a message. All right, we covered a printed invitation and a digital design, which leaves us with one more option, a Facebook event banner. A Facebook event can be useful if you want your guests to communicate with each other in the lead up to the day, or if you don't have all the details confirmed, but you need to get your invites out. Once again, I used a template to create this design. Only this time, I had to resize it to fit the dimensions of the Facebook banner. If you are a Pro or Canva for Teams user, you can simply go to Magic Resize and type the dimensions. But if you're a free user, you will just need to create a new document. Add the dimensions, then paste in the design. It's likely you will need to shuffle things around and resize elements to make everything sit nicely. And you may need to fill some spaces with additional elements. I'm almost done. Just a few more personal touches. That's looking cute. Now I can download it as a PNG and upload it to Facebook once I've created an event. So, which invitation design do you like best? Let me know in the comments. I think I'm leaning towards the printed design with a QR code because I really like the cute forest animals. But then again, I do like the idea of a Facebook event. Oh, it's just so hard to decide with so many great options. I hope you're better making decisions than I am. <laughs> Still steering over what to make? While you think about it, why not check out one of our other videos or browse through the playlist? There is something in there for everyone. If you know someone who would enjoy this video, we would really appreciate it if you could share it. Thanks for watching.